Howdy friends and welcome to The Average Jag. It is Saturday morning, or no, Sunday morning, and we needed to get some chicken food. Um, our Cornish rocks, we're going to switch them over to like pellets, but I'll grind them up a little bit. But I'm going to get them off the crumble. And so we came to Tractor Supply right there. Yay. <laughs> Pointing again. I guess I, love I, don't, this I don't need this until I go in. So um, we're going to go ahead and head inside and get what we need. All right, so we are in TSC. Where are you going, honey? They have wagon wheels back there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Michelle always looking for the decorations <laughs> of what she can get. All right. Let's go get our 50 pound bag of layer food. Uh, yeah, do me a favor, grab that. $7.29. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> put that in the little front section. Yeah. Alright. And here is the Laina 50 pound bag. I'm going to need Michelle to get me on this one. See, contrary to popular belief, I can still lift a 50 pound bag. <laughs> <laughs> They have a good section <clears throat> of horse stuff. I see heat lamps on, so I think they got some kind of birds today. Let's see. Oh, Cornish Rock. Yep. That's what I got. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you. I'll show later in the video what kind of Franken chickens they turn into. Yeah, they do. All right, there's the Franken chickens. I mean, you look at their feathers, they're missing tons of feathers because their bodies grow just to get big and be meat. Yep. And I just filled that food this morning almost to the top and it's empty now. But that's the Franken chickens. What's that? It's the pet trunk. It is. So we got the uh, 50 pound bag of food and the chick grit, the cat shell, and the cat litter was in there from our trip to Walmart the other night. Pet so there's no human stuff, just pets. It is just pets. Cost us a fortune. Um, Michelle is going to head in, take the cart back, <laughs> and I'm going to tell him about the phone tapping just recently started using my phone as like a payment source you can tap i used we got the new bank cards um alex michelle myself and it is the tap kind so I mean, you can insert you can swipe but but you can tap and it's you know really convenient um very easy if you're going to use the card anyway but now you can use your phone and I, I mean you've been able to use your phone for a while it's just i, I never did it before and never thought to do it and I've done it a couple times now, and it is very convenient. Rather than pulling out my wallet, pulling out the card, swiping it through, I literally just put my phone right onto the little machine and it works. Mm -hmm. So, works out good, right, Michelle? It's good. All right, now we're gonna go home and start getting, I know it's first thing in the morning, I'm gonna start getting everything out for dinner because we're having pork chops, they were in the freezer, I need to take them out so that they thaw by the time we cook. And, I got a few things to do with the chickens today, a little bit of cleanup, kind of clean out their bowls, but then I'm going to uh, vlog making dinner. I did last night with the steak dinner, tonight I will do the thick pork chops, but they are going to be on cast iron. They're not going to be on the grill, they're on cast iron. Had to make a quick stop in the shop, right? Needed coffee pods and pork stove top stuffing, <laughs> that's for tonight. Get the eggs without having to go in. Without having to go in, yeah. yeah. I have to go in and mine, so. Um, yeah. But, yeah, you have a, a lot more yeah. birds than I do. <laughs> it will go in. So, this is uh, 
also in town. This is uh, my friend Lou. His uh, chickens in here. He has uh, quite the flock. They are a nice variety. I am limited to just two. And and over on the far side, I don't know whether you can see that beautiful rooster in the back. Oh, he is a he is a pretty thing. He, Lou, he's part Buff Warpington, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, okay. So the that rooster over there is his father. Wow, he's bigger than Daddy. <laughs> but they have a good setup in here. Maybe on the far side, they have plenty of play area out here. Got a mom and the babies over here. Lou hatched these himself. You can see all the babies laying down there. Uh, three of them are laying down. No, four, four laying down. So they're just kind of resting up. They had a busy morning. A lot of walking around. Well, they're up early, you know. Yeah. So Lou gave me four fertilized eggs, and you've seen in my videos before Broody Girl. So we're going to go ahead and put some fertilized eggs under Broody Girl. And as long as the eggs weren't chilled, we think uh, we might be able to get babies like this. We'll see. So when I get home, we'll go ahead and set them under her and see what happens. We are going to take Lou's fertilized eggs. <laughs> and like he said, you know, they, they sat out last night, got pretty chilly. Nobody was sitting on them for like 12 hours or so. So they might be chilled, but we're going to find out. We're going to put them under Broody Girl and see what happens. <laughs> All right. Oh, she's in there. <laughs> Where else would oh she be? Look, look. She's like a roosting bar on the ladder. Aww. Isn't that funny? Cutie. All right. Broody Girl. Broody Girl, guess what we got? Guess what we got? We got some eggs to put under you. I'm going to take out the ceramic one. Ooh, that thing's warm. <laughs> put some more eggs under you. Alright, there we go, baby. Alright, so now four eggs real eggs <laughs> are under broody girl i may as well collect regular eggs while i'm out here we got one two three this is a fake egg <laughs> four five six that's the fake egg Everybody's in here. Holy <laughs> moly. Anything in there? No, 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 no. All right, so I got six. That's it. Nice. Oh my. All right, so we put Quackity and Goldie, or as uh, Brittany calls it, George, in the garden to kind of take out on some of. We're done for the year for the garden, so we might pull a few more things out, but. They're the only two that I really trust in here. They're the most well-behaved birds. We put one of the buff fly? Warpingtons, and the buff Warpington flew the coop. So oh. I had to go get her the in the, the yard, one of the buff Warpingtons. So, oh, and so now it's just Goldie and Quackity, <laughs> but they seem to be enjoying themselves. I'll keep an eye on them, well, you know, but I don't think they're going to fly away. Got done doing all the work outside, came in, got a shower, got changed, I'm wearing my Disney Hercules shirt, which I said to Michelle, I said, oh, you know, I haven't worn this in a while, I think you shrunk it. <laughs> I don't think it shrunk, I think I just got bigger. But we're going to go ahead and make dinner. Um, it's really a simple dinner. Um, it's pork chops uh, on the cast iron, stuffing, uh, pork stuffing, and uh, corn. So the corn is a very old family recipe that I'm uh, going to do. So it's, it's a few steps. So step one is take the can opener and uh, open the can. If I can do this. <laughs> All right. 
That is step one. <laughs> step two is pouring in a pan. <laughs> and turn that sucker on as low as it can go. There we go. Old family recipe. <laughs> The stuffing isn't an old family recipe, but you know, it's pretty hard to do as well. So in a pot, I have put one and a half cups of water and four tablespoons of butter. And I did that because that is the ingredients that Stove Top Work Stuffing told me to do. The directions. The directions. <laughs> so I am going to turn that on, boil it, and then once it's boiling, add the little, uh, uh, bread pack, stir it in, and then after five minutes, fluff it with a fork. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. No, you cannot. I'm going to get that going right now. And the last thing is going to be our pork chops. Now, this is the only thing I'm actually doing from scratch. So, we have some extra thick cut pork chops, two pork chops, and these things weigh 2.8 pounds, so almost three pounds. I'm going to rinse them off. Always rinse in cold water, never rinse in warm water. I don't know why I rinse still, because when you cook it, if there's anything on it, it burns it off anyway. I don't know. I think it's more just a mental thing in my mind. <laughs> but we're going to do that. We're going to dry these suckers off. Um, I used to have a friend out in Iowa named Kevin. And Kevin um, one time sent me meats. And I didn't know. Iowa is a huge pork producing state. Did not know that. But he sent me what he called Iowa chops. And the Iowa chops were thicker than these. I mean, they were crazy thick. And really, since then, we never got the thick chops again. But when we were up at the commissary, we found thick chops a couple weeks ago. Tried them, loved them. So we're going to go for them again. So once I have them all cleaned up, I am only using one thing on these. I am using Lowry's seasoned salt. Uh, Michelle used to use the Lowry seasoned pepper in, I think I it's right here. She used to use the seasoned pepper in salads and a whole lot of things. And I actually use the seasoned pepper to cook a lot with. But with the pork, pork is naturally kind of a salty taste anyway. So I'm going for an even saltier taste with the seasoned salt. This we found by accident when we were trying to find seasoned pepper. I'm not putting a whole lot on, just a real light coating. I'm going to pat it on the one side, turn them over. We're just going to put a little more on that side. And that's it. I'm just going to leave them sit. Um, like I did with my steak, my pork chops have been sitting out for a while so that they are at room temperature when I cook. Anytime I cook meat, I always make sure it's at room temperature before I cook it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pat of butter on cast iron. Once that thing melts and it starts to sizzle, I'm going to go ahead and add those pork chops on there. I'm going to cook them for about seven minutes on one side, and then I'm going to flip them over, and it's about uh, four minutes on the other. But we will do that in just a minute. Sometimes I think people are under the impression that my dog is always sitting in the kitchen laying on the floor. Because every video I do, that's where he is. But he's in here because he thinks he's missing out and wants something to eat. So... When we go into other rooms, he goes into other rooms too. Isn't that right, Artie? He could at least move. Lazy!
whenever I make meats, one of my favorite things is my Cuisinart knife. Um, I got this from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, I think it was, a couple years back. And it is a great knife, very sharp. I sharpen my, kni my uh, knife every time I go to use it, so uh, just a, a honing. I don't do like a, a big sharpening, but I have like a little honing thing. But a good knife makes a big difference. All right, we're gonna check the temperature. All right, well, we're at 142 and 154. So the one is a lit, the one is done, and the other one, uh, let me see, 150. So they are done because 145 to 150 is where you want to be. I'm going to take these off and let them rest on the cutting board. We're going to just let them rest for about five minutes. You can see the pork came out just the way it should. It's a perfect medium well. <laughs> the fancy dinner. Woohoo! <laughs> Well, the stove top may be packaged in the corn may be secret family recipe. But these pork chops, woo That's some good eating. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Artie does when he wants mommy's food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll give him a piece. There we go. Lucky dog. That is going to do it for today. Started out with a little trip to Tractor Supply, ended up with a homemade dinner. I hope you enjoyed the journey with us. Um, might be another day or two before I get to a video because uh, I got to go in the office tomorrow down in Delaware and I'm probably not going to be up for doing anything tomorrow. Uh, although I am making blackened shrimp and grits tomorrow. I don't know, maybe I'll do a quick video on that, but I, I haven't made that before. We had it down at Disney and Michelle and I really liked it, so I said maybe I'll try making it at home. And it's on the menu for tomorrow, my three-week menu. <laughs> we'll see. Last time we made the menu for two weeks, and we only wound up flip-flopping two days. Other than that, the menu stayed pretty much on point. So we are going to try it for three weeks and see how we do. But it's black and shrimp and grits tomorrow. We'll see how it turns out. I'll let you know. If it turns out good and I videotape it, then I'll... Uh, I'll wind up maybe doing a video, but if it like really sucks, then I don't think I will. But <laughs> thank you for coming along on this Sunday uh, morning and afternoon. Have a great night. Bye.